Hey, how's it going? I'm out on my Sunday run again this week. Same spot I was last week, but the canal this week, very low tide. Now I would go for a run along this uh, free section, but the ground is all like mud, slippery, grimy stuff. So if I even take a few steps running as I just tried then, slip. So not gonna try it. So I'm still taking my exercise very light, very easy. My toe still can't bend it in this direction. It still hurts. It's about six weeks now. So I might double check with the doctor, get a follow up x-ray or something. Or this could be perfectly normal. I don't know. It is very annoying, especially for my Kung Fu. I want to be able to do my Kung Fu. Part of that involves kicks. And I can't point my foot at the moment without pain and so therefore I can't properly do Kung Fu I can do some of it I can do a lot of the upper body and anything on my right foot is fine anything on my left foot not good I suppose one positive from having this broken toe injury which has been annoying me for the last six weeks is that it's brought me away from training a bit to let me heal up from my other injuries and yes I do have other injuries that I'm working through. So I've had for about a year now, a bit of a pain in my right knee uh, when I bend it in certain ways. It doesn't here, appear on my left knee, just my right knee. And I believe that it is fat pad impingement. And I've had physiotherapy to try and fix it. It fixed it temporarily, but it keeps coming back. And of course, the main fix for fat pad impingement is to reduce the exercises that are causing the pain or causing the injury. Now running itself doesn't cause the pain or cause the injury, but I know that it's something that's holding it back from getting better. But it's not really something I want to give up. But this six weeks hopefully has helped it by me significantly reducing my running load. And I know exactly what caused it. It was back about a year ago I was doing some of my intense training for the Ironman and I was doing laps of an oval. It was a running track, I think it was like a 400 meter running track or something like that. 400 meter oval. And I was trying to do a really fast 10k. So I did a 40 minute 10k, which damn good. I'm so proud of myself for being able to do that. But I was going around in one direction the entire time, which caused a lot of excess strain on one side of my leg and therefore caused the beginning of the fat pad impingement and since then it's kind of come and gone but it just keeps coming back and certain movements especially I don't know where I'm bending my knee but there's no load on it it's, it's weird there's only certain weird things that cause it to come back and with the cancellation of the six foot track marathon next week unfortunately uh, probably positive for me as I said before because I'm not putting as much strain on my body so I can actually give it a bit of rest and build up my body for later on for the other big events and so yeah I've been dealing with that for a year I've also had my Achilles tendonitis which has been getting somewhat better I think I've been trying to feel my Achilles and it used to have a bit of a lump which was painful uh, but that lump has kind of gone away and the pain is dissipating so that's good uh, now when I'm doing my training for my, whatever my next event ends up being I just need to make sure that I ramp up appropriately not all at once but enough about injuries I have uh, next week I'm going on a bit of a holiday uh, so going to Thailand I've been there a long time ago I think last time I was there was about seven I was about 17 uh, with family so this time I'm meeting up with my dad in Thailand he's coming back from England via Thailand is a bit of a holiday and he said well why don't you meet up with me so I said okay so that should be a nice little break from everything else in life uh, get away for a week go to Thailand have good food and just 
enjoy myself for a week. And I've always been the person who loves flying and going in airports and all that sort of stuff, so that's gonna play to my enjoyment as well. And I'll also have a new spot that I'll have run in on Strava. So add to my country list of places where I've run. I've run all over the place. I've done England, I've done all across Europe. And one thing I think is gonna work in my favor is this whole coronavirus issue. And for me, it works out great because there's gonna be a lot of people canceling their tourism at the moment, which means that when I go to Bangkok, in Thailand, there's gonna be a lot less people. Yeah, there is so much hype about this coronavirus. And for those who don't live in Australia, you may or may not have heard, Australia is going a bit crazy. Uh, all of the people who are getting into this hype about coronavirus are stocking up and hoarding toilet paper. So have a look at this. Shops are completely out of toilet paper. There's nothing, the shelves are bare. And it's just stupid because Australia manufactures toilet paper. So it's not like it's gonna be subject to import restrictions. Sure, they can't keep up with the initial demand just simply because there's so many people buying so much more toilet paper than is normally purchased at the moment. But then once all of this hype dies down and people have their stock of toilet paper, the shops are gonna be at normal capacity and there's gonna be loads of toilet paper. And in fact, at that point, I reckon toilet paper is going to be a little cheaper because they're going to have so much and there's going to be half as many people buying toilet paper. So, it works out great for me because I then get cheaper toilet paper. And with the coronavirus, look, even if people did get quarantined, they'd be quarantined for 14 days. So you only need enough toilet paper to last 14 days. One of the biggest issues of people stockpiling toilet paper is actually for people who are maybe on government allowance or on the pension or something like that and maybe they can't get a big stockpile of toilet paper and they only get it once a week they're not able to get it at the moment and that's really people just don't care so anyway at the moment australia has a toilet paper pasta and canned tuna epidemic what is your country running out of let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run and exercise content from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.